this is this is a point that I find quite frustrating in the market, which is I feel like the where the market is at the moment or where it's kind of come from is typically been very hard to get these programs up and running because everything about it has required them to be big. Yes, yeah, really? And generally that makes them more complicated, more people involved. And it reminds me of that webinar you did where you had your, what was the box called? The, oh yeah, the too hard to do box. Too hard to do box. There was all sorts coming out of that. Um, but it's true. It's true. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is, this is where um, things fall down. So to get insights, you need to, if you could provide insights, if you could say, okay, well, we've done some work over here and here's some insights. Would you like this sort of thing for your area of the business? You know, Mrs. Stakeholder. Um, that's, I feel like that's a, an area that, I'm, you know, I've been banging on about this for a while, but in terms of just being able to get started and make things simpler and provide evidence, it doesn't have to be a $2 billion program. It could be, and this is where the public sector has done it really well because the public sector operates through frameworks. Mm -hmm. So basically they'll, they'll be dealing with stuff on a more kind of piecemeal, sometimes scalable basis. Obviously there's more mandates in the public sector as well, but that's been an interesting thing for for me to see looking across private versus public sector. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, that's, I, do you feel that's one of the challenges? I do in terms of, uh, you know, you, you need to build on the success. So you need to find an area of requirement spend usage where there's a real opportunity to demonstrate the improvement. That's different to a pilot though. I often encounter people who say, we need to do a test, need to do a pilot. Mm -hmm. So let me just check. You want a pilot that it's a good idea that you actually get what you thought you were going to get and you pay what you thought you were going to pay. Right. Mm -hmm. In that sort of, Basic, basic. It sounds like it might be you've <laughs> got a business case, yeah. <laughs> um, I said, well, in order to prove, then you know we've got to prove we're getting, and and it, and, and if you're not careful, what happens is you dilute what you're doing to such an extent you can't possibly create something that's impactful enough to drive the proof. So I think it's a it's a bit of both. There's the picking an area which has got the biggest opportunity for impact. Do some parallel running. But again, this is where you have to do it through the full consultation with the people who are actually utilizing those services. Because you know, you, otherwise, you, it's procurement coming up with a different way of doing something. And then almost like saying, right now, who's going to use it first without actually getting to feel like they're shaping it and evolving it? Um, the other thing that we, we need to do is be really clear about... <laughs> What does success look like? So if you've negotiated 20 contracts really poorly and you haven't defined what you want very well, mm -hmm. administering them once the SAW has been signed is not going to change the fact that you've not negotiated them very well and you haven't defined them very well. So it's really those, I mean, I also talk about there being three ways to add value in a service context. It's you know, that upfront making sure that you're managing demand properly and defining exactly the best way to get that work done. Then sourcing, contracting, not on lowest price, but on value. And then making sure that you do actually govern that so you are managing everything through once it's been the break. Well, they're not kind of mutually exclusive effects. No, it doesn't mean that client organization may not handle the first two themselves, but you've got to look at those three things to list. And again, one of the challenges is that when you make a start, you think that just by focusing on one end of the process, you're going to demonstrate the, the effectiveness of everything, and, and you can't. So you've got to look at that in a holistic fashion.